Hi everyone, just want to introduce you to my laziest niger colony. I actually have three of them uh, going strong from last year. All three queens I caught last year um, during their nuptial flights. This one's my most prolific. Uh, first I made a uh, plaster nest here out of a Rubbermaid container. And they've been going really strong. This, this queen especially has been prolific in her laying. I, I fed them all. Um, the same time, same frequency, same amount. I haven't done anything special or different. This queen just always had uh, more brood than the other two. The other two have been going strong as well, but uh, nothing like this one. I estimate this probably has almost, maybe a third to double more um, brood and workers than the other two colonies. So I'm using my clip one macro lens here, trying to get the best shots that I can. I know that they're a bit weak here. Um, they've never been too picky on food. Nigers love to eat and uh, don't seem to care too much about what they're eating. Um, anything sweet and any kind of insects. Um, as well as egg yolks, egg whites, protein sources. They seem to be somewhat ravenous and hearty to eating whatever you offer them. You can see all the gasters are full in the video because I've started giving ant nectar, honey, and sugar water 24-7. I always make sure there's a sugar source all the time and uh, two to three times a week I offer protein source. The most common protein source that I use is mealworms, the darkling beetles that come from the mealworms, crickets, egg white, egg yolk, and that's mostly it. Um, during the summer I called a fair bit of moths and whatnot. I would turn the black light on on my porch and just collect insects at night. So throughout the summer months, they just got whatever insects happened upon my porch. So after they filled up the plaster nest, which had integrated uh, Outworld just on the top of the plaster, I decided to just fill the whole thing up with uh, sand, loamy dirt, and uh, I began production of a 3D printed nest and decided to start trying it out and see how they took to it. So I drilled a hole in the side of the Rubbermaid container, filled up with loam, and then added on my new 3D printed nest with a hydration base. And they took to it pretty quickly. Um, there will be some footage here of that shortly. But um, they just continued to expand and expand, eating constantly. A lot of people think that Nigers are boring because they're so common and they're reasonably small, but there are some really big benefits to keeping Nigers. Nigers, uh, they're very hardy. They eat easily. They're a really easy first ant, but they're also very interesting because despite the fact they don't have a sting, they're very, very aggressive to uh, potential food sources. So you actually get to see them they're not very skittish they come out they do their job they eat they're always out actively scavenging looking around so th there's a lot to watch despite them being relatively small and they're uh, pretty aggressive for what they are and uh, if some get out or get all over your hands or arms you're not going to get all bitten up and you know, just feel them scurrying across you and just wipe them back into the out world no problem so I really enjoy these Nigers. Um, obviously, I've expanded to a few other different species, but these are still probably my favorite colony. Just watching them come out and swarm over things and whatnot, watching the communication between the workers to go and get reinforcements when I put something in too large. I've actually uh, put wasps in with these Nigers and the Nigers are able to completely dispatch a watch, which was a wasp, which was surprising. 
while not considered technically polymorphic, um, I've also noticed that there is some size disparity here, and that plays into different roles in the nest. There are definitely a larger and smaller nigers, and the larger ones seem to be more aggressive. The first ones to tackle uh, prey before the smaller ones will come on to. You don't have majors or anything like that, but there there are size disparities, and let's say about 30% difference. There, some of them are about 30% larger than their counterparts, and you can see some of that here. My daughter actually has a Niger colony, well, the third colony that I have. Those are hers, and she takes care of them, so... They're great ants because when they get out, she likes to hold them, let them scurry on her hands and arms, and helps her not be scared of nature. We take her out, and we look for queens together, and we take care of them, feed them. Every day she gets home from school, and she's uh, five this month. Every time she, every day she gets home from school, she comes up and takes a look and peek at them, and sees if they're eating, if they're healthy. Likes to see how many brood that they have. This is just a darkling beetle bit right here. As you see, they're uh, going to town on it. They were fed last night. Uh, I, I think that keeping the sugar source there permanently is a good idea because you can see the full gasters everywhere where they're all extended and somewhat transparent. They're all full of fluids, sugary fluids, and um, I think that's helping with the reproduction rate so here's the 3d printed nest that i was speaking of and they've really populated this up a good bit there's a huge cluster right there in the middle which i suspect there might be the queen hiding under there somewhere the 3d printed nest has a a bottom where water can actually permeate through as you can see it's wet inside so I've stopped adding water to the plaster nest on the bottom and I just let moisture wick through the 3D printed nest here through the tubes and just naturally hydrate the plaster as well so that they have some gradient. But there's gradient built into here as well. The substance you see there at the top is actually just uh, Elmer's glue. I used a bit of glue to glue the acrylic down so that they wouldn't escape. And I'm happy to say that this nest design between the plaster nest, the 3D printed nest, and the acrylic outworld, I have had zero escapes. So the nest has done me quite well over the past year. So like and subscribe or comment at the bottom if you'd like to see more.